Hi, my name is Daniel Myers, Developer Relations here at Snowflake. Today, I'm interviewing Yair from Anecdotes, a company that automates your compliance for cloud resources. Yair, how are you? Very good, thanks. How are you? Doing well, doing well. So yeah, thank you for hopping on today. Um, you know, to kick this off, I really want to, uh, you know, first off, just learn more about you uh, and about the company. Um, so how, how did you get into this space? So I've been working in the cybersecurity industry for more than a decade, and I dealt with complex and amazing technologies. Um, before anecdotes, I worked for a company with one of my co-founders, Roy, and we were leading a developing of a new product. Um, and such as uh, developing a new product, we had to make sure that this product is SOC 2 compliant. It's essential for every modern uh, product nowadays. In this process, we realized how InfoSec compliance is traditional and relies on manual processes. Awesome, awesome. And so, uh, you know, as, as the founder of Anecdotes, how did you uh, go about creating this company? So a few months later, after the SOC 2 audits, um, we had a meeting with another friend of mine, uh, Eitan, he's also one of our co-founders now. And we decided that the technology stack that involves in cybersecurity is amazing. There is everything there, everything can be automated and it's just beautiful. But we have to make sure that people look towards the InfoSec compliance and we wanted, we decided that we're going to develop the right technology to help compliance leaders streamline their compliance efforts. This was the very basic for us as a guideline. That's awesome to hear. So um, can we see a demo? Sure, uh, let's hop to the platform. So anecdotes as an enterprise grade solution for automating the compliance efforts for companies. We built a beautiful mechanism that simplifies the whole process with a unified framework. So if a company complies with certain framework and wants to comply with other ones, they can focus on the essence, how this happens in practice. Let's see, we now support these frameworks. Let's say we comply with SOC 2, but we also wanna comply with ISO 27. So we just need to adopt the framework. Adopting a framework means that from now on, all the relevant controls that we mapped will now be applicable also to the ISO 27. What we can see now is that we can get without any efforts visibility to how far are we from fulfilling the ISO 27 requirements. Now, the second stage in our platform is going to the far end. Instead of reaching out to the relevant stakeholders in your organization, this stakeholder that in your modern company usually has a SaaS platform that they're using. We built a mechanism which we called plugins to integrate into each one of those platforms that you're using and pull all out all and the only relevant data for compliance. This is what we do. So as you can see, we have different plugins to different stakeholders. It can be HR platforms, cloud infrastructures, databases, and so on. Let's now go through connecting, authorizing one plugin. Cloudflare, as an example. We can see the potential here. By authorizing Anecdotes platform to access Cloudflare, we'll be able to collect nine evidence with real data. We don't take screenshots behind the scenes. We bring this model of live real data that you can trust, but your auditors can trust as well. And this is the foundation for everything else. It's very simple to generate the require, required token. Uh, Cloudflare is a well-known product. You can see the exact permissions that we require. And as a guideline, we all only require the minimal amount of requirement, the uh, permissions, and under read-only access so that we can both feel comfortable with this. Now, connecting plugin is a matter of a click. We did this. Now, behind the scenes, the engine starts. 
And we'll see in a minute how this process of collecting the evidence actually affects us. All right, we're alive. Real data that will serve for our compliance programs is now being collected from Cloudflare. We can wait a few seconds and we'll see what, ha what really happens. Already, I can see this is incredibly powerful. The, uh, uh, looking at the number of integrations that you had, uh, that you showed there, um, you know, how, how many, it looks like you have 27 plugins today. That's uh, yeah. pretty yeah. awesome. And this is the beginning. We're about to reach hundreds of plugins. Uh, we have a well-established process. All right, so this is it. We have evidence, we have the data. Let's go to the controls page. This is the ultimate workspace for compliance leaders. What we see here is the behind the scenes of the unified framework. We can, we can look at Anecdotes framework with all the relevant controls that we have. Now, we said that we comply with SOC 2, so we can go to SOC 2. But if we chose, choose to go to ISO 27, we can see beautifully how this mapping behind the scene works. The evidence which we just collected might be relevant to one of the ISO 27 controls. In this case, we'll be able to see this here. Let me go back to the unified uh, framework and look for one of the uh, Cloudflare evidence. Great. Each one, what we see here is a bunch of controls. Each control, as every compliance leader knows, supposed to be uh, fulfilled. And you have to provide the evidence so that you can show how and why it's fulfilled. This specific control has three requirements, which we defined and mapped behind the scenes. Cloudflare is one of them. We can see that we gathered 35 items that are relevant from the Cloudflare account that we use in this demo and will serve us as a valid evidence and credible evidence with our auditor. This is how in practice, we take the burden off and you, the compliance leaders, don't have to go through every stakeholder and ask for another screenshot, ask for a static report. They have all the data. They just had to plug it in one time with two seconds, and this is it. The data is, collecting, is being collected continuously, so it's always up to date, and you can always enjoy this. Now, what we can see is that every, every time we connect another plugin, we're actually getting towards uh, achieving higher level uh, of audit readiness. And this is what's really nice here. You did it once, you control it, you own it. That's great, that's great. And so, um, you know, so from here, you know, what are, um, you know, some of the, the biggest obstacles when building out this platform, right? Um, that, that like, you know, the, that you've had to overcome. What was, uh, you know, so, some of those, those hurdles that you've, that you've had to, so this platform, Anecdotes, compliance platform, relies on complex data structures. Those data structures are the knowledge base that we bring to every customer. So if they want to adopt more frameworks, they don't need to ask themselves what piece of data is relevant from each potential um, plugin or platform. So we had and we still have this challenge of building and maintaining incredible complex data structures, which we have to, uh, to, to make so that the customers will enjoy it. Now, Snowflake was actually a very good solution for us. This is why we at first thought Snowflake might fit perfectly to our technology stack. We use very modern CI CD flows in order to manage our code changes. But when it comes to data changes of complex data structures, we needed some equivalent of data CI-CD. Every change that we do in our data model affects immediately without a single line of code, how the users can enjoy and leverage our knowledge base. So Snowflake allowed us through an internal collaboration with internal data sharing between different accounts to establish this very modern data CI CD. We have development account, 
integration account, production account, to put it simple. And they're sharing data with certain uh, checks. This is beautiful. And this is one of the major reasons Snowflake helped us here. So, so it seems, uh, like you said, Snowflake's really been a core part of the solution here. Um, and with that, you know, have you uh, uh, leveraged uh, some of the uh, other features? For example, um, you know, are you, are you using uh, semi-structured data within Snowflake or are you doing, uh, you know, data sharing? You know, you, you mentioned how, how you have uh, the different, different uh, production environments. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. So it works like a magic and I have to be honest, it's amazing. We integrate to different platforms, different services. So those integrations that we hold allows us to ingest different data types, Snowflake. Now we try to make, in order to make it credible for our auditors that will audit our customers, we need to make sure that we always maintain the, orig the, the original data as it came from the, from the source. So it happens that we don't change and we're not allowed to change the data. We need to keep it as is. And what, what's really nice is that by leveraging Snowflake's unstructured data, we were able to store JSONs inside it just the way we got it. So this is, we all, allows us to always keep the lower layer of raw data. And we can actually see this. We can actually see an example of raw data. If I open now a, maybe a evidence that came from Okta, we will be able to see actual raw data. This raw data, we didn't change it. We're not allowed to, this is part of our credibility. And this is amazing. Now, this is not readable. No one can read this and no one can analyze this. So we built another layer of normalizing the data without affecting what we got from the from the plugin, and this is what we sh you can see here. This is a normalized structure, which will leverage Snowflake so to show structured data, which we create on top of the raw data. Now, another crucial part for compliance leaders is gaining the visibility into what's really happening with our compliance efforts. So we realized we can leverage what we have. And since everything is backed by real data, we can group this data to capture the essence of every uh, control. This is what we built in this dashboard. So CISOs, CIOs, and whoever wants to see what's your compliance status in the company and has a part of this can see what, how good are they or how how much progress they have to their audit. And I think it's an enormous, enormous tool that can help them become proactive with their compliance. Because once you can see where your strength points or where you need to be better, you know how to focus your efforts. And once you know how to focus your efforts, you can then go back again to the frameworks and decide that you want to adopt another framework, which might be useful for your company. So you're targeting these very large enterprises. You know, a lot of these enterprises have very strict or uh, or well-defined uh, data governance policies. Um, can you talk about, um, you know, how have you been able to solve uh, the, you know, and and really uh, be able to uh, provide a solution for? working with these types of enterprises? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. It was part of our go-to-market that involves dealing with modern and big enterprises. We realized that we needed a solution that will allow us to fulfill those data governance requests that are asking us for. And Snowflake happened to be the only and ultimate solution for us. So nowadays, Anecdotes is cloud independent. We can store our customers' data on every cloud infrastructure in every region they want to. It is very uh, important for them to have this amount of uh, flexibility from the platform that saves such a sensitive data. 
I'll, I'll even mention that the advanced customers that we have asked to keep their own data by themselves. So once again, Snowflake is an amazing solution for this because we were able to leverage the concept of uh, data exchange by the fact that they keep their data. They just allow anecdotes to access it in this very secure manner through Snowflake's data cloud and do our analysis and mapping magic. So it's really exciting to see, you know, how far anecdotes has come and what, everything that you've built so far. Um, you know, what's, what's on the horizon? What's, what's in the roadmap for, for anecdotes? So as you can guess, we're developing plenty of more plugins and supporting more and more frameworks, which is the day-to-day -day job, but that's nice. We actually strive to bring real innovation and leverage the technology that we build to redefine the physics of the compliance ecosystem so that it can actually fit to the cloud area, which we all now live in. Awesome. And so where can uh, viewers uh, learn more about Anecdotes and follow you online? Sure. So Anecdotes AI, this is our website. You can also find us on every different social media. Uh, we always maintain uh, professional content that allows you to see how modern compliance can meet your modern plug uh, platforms that you're using. This is important. We know it's a gap and this is what we're dealing with. No matter which customer we talk to or partnership that we do, we know that the fact that we deal 24 seven with compliance for cloud-based companies, we wanna share the knowledge of why we make these de decisions and how you can enjoy this. Well, great. Well, great. Thank you for hopping on today. Uh, my name is Daniel Myers, Developer Relations here at Snowflake. Thanks for watching.